the way Ukraine came through the crisis is a clear evidence that not everything is properly reflected in the statistics. Two years ago, one and a half years ago, I think a lot of us were thinking, look, the banking sector will collapse. Uh, half the corporates will, will go down. Everybody owes everybody else money. Nobody pays and people are on the streets and hungry. None of that has happened. So there is some magic about Ukraine that we don't maybe know and we don't see in the, in the macro statistics, uh, uh, certainly. And I think that is something that gives Dragon Capital a, 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 a huge edge ahead of, uh, ahead of many other bigger competitors uh, in the West, uh, much bigger names maybe, but not being present in Ukraine and therefore not understanding all these peculiarities. I'm optimistic about the future. I'm not as optimistic about the present. Um, regrettably, this is based on, uh, on the feedback I'm getting from our clients, private sector, because for the economy to be successful, one needs uh, the three components, government, uh, public corporate, uh, uh, private corporate sector, and then investors and financiers, each of the three, to do, to do the right thing. And the growth potential of Ukraine in, in, is, is enormous. Uh, Ukraine is not uh, a country that cannot take care of itself. It can. It can produce its own food, it can produce its own technologies, it can uh, produce pretty much every type of equipment you would need. So therefore, going from 3,000 uh, GDP per capita to what is five times as high, um, only in the, in the span of three years, would not be a magic at all.